This time I'm going to tie a dry fly. Uh, I'm going to tie a claret and elk sedge. This is a B160 in a size 12. Uh, what I'm taking is I'm going to put a little bit of super glue onto my tying thread. I'm going to wrap forward to the eye and then back over itself and wipe off the excess and that will give me a very firm tie in. Very simple fly. Body on this one is claret seal. I'm going to turn this out of the way just to get my hook point out of the road. Then I'm going to dub on some claret seal. Now this is equivalent to about a size 14 fly, so I'm only going to go up about two thirds the way of the hook. Now for the wing, I'm going to use this, which is elk. I'll take off a small bunch. Now elk is full of fluff at the bottom, so blow that to get it through it and pull it out of the way. Now on this one I'm going to use a hair stacker because it's such a small fly. I'm going to put my bunch in there, put my finger over the top of it and tamp it down and then when I pull that out all the ends should be aligned. So pull that out. I'll set that up for length on the hook, so slightly longer than the body. Now I'm going to put on a couple of loose wraps. Then with my dubbing needle, I'm going to take a bit of runny super glue. And I'm just going to apply it to the underside of my wing. And then I'm going to pull that down tight and wrap backwards over itself. And that should give me a nice little wing bunch. So now I'm going to wrap tighter wraps as I go forward but I'm going to try and keep them the bunch up on top of the hook like that. Now I'm not going to trim that off just yet there's a reason for that. So I'm going to do a hackle. Here I'm using a genetic saddle in a sort of red game and keeping my tie-in thread at the back here I'm going to wrap from the front backways and make a real dense hackle when I'm at the back I'm going to put a turn over the last wrap of it and then I'm going to just wind my thread erratically through the hackles and what that'll do is that'll go across each turn of hackle and individually tie it down so that even if one bit gives with the trouse teeth you still have several turns of hackle rather than the whole thing unraveling. Nip that off. Now the reason I left this long was so that I can pull it out of the way and that'll give me the eye of the hook. A couple of turns on there then I'm going to create my whip finish. A couple of turns. And as I pull the silk tight, I'm just going to use my nails and force the wraps backwards. Nip that off. Now, again with my dub and needle, a little bit of super glue. In on the side, in on the side, and that will wick through my tying thread. Now, to finish the fly off, pull forward our bunch of butt ends and cut them off. And that leaves a little bunch out the front. And the idea of that is that it helps to create a little bit of wake whenever you pull this edge. So that's essentially it. A couple of fibers that are a bit lower than I'd like. So get rid of them. 
there you have it. That's uh, a claret and elk sage.